Hola, hola. Welcome back. Mi nombre es Edith. My name is Edith and I am an intuitive psychic reader, a medium, an Akashic Records reader, a healer, and I'm also the owner of Earth Crystals Con Amor, my crystal shop, my spiritual business. Today I have a pick a card and I want to connect with you to bring you guidance, to bring you clarity, confirmation, whatever it is that you need to receive. My whole intention today and in, in my meditation was behind what lessons are we learning? What are we needing to surrender of to move forward? What messages do our guides, angels, ancestors, loved ones, or ancestors have for us? Whoever it is that you believe in up above. I always trust that you will find my videos when it's the right time. There's no specific timing for my videos. There's no expiration date, but I am a firm believer that we always find the right message when we're ready to receive it when we're open to it and i assure you that you clicked on this video for a reason and if maybe there's one message two messages or all messages that resonate with you take them your guides the universe guided you here today for a reason i'm going to have three options you can connect with either one two or three or I'm also going to be using crystals. I am a crystal healer. So I connect with crystals all the time. Crystals bring an extra energy to my readings and I love to incorporate them. So I thank you for clicking on this video for allowing me to guide you to be this vessel to bring you messages. I feel that I feel like I'm already channeling, but one of the messages that I feel like I'm connecting with already, it's like we're all going through some type of like discovery, some type of aha moment. And maybe that's what this journey is all about right now in your life of accepting something that just no longer is serving you like it was in the past. Option number one is Malachite. This is a beautiful like fibrous Malachite. Option number two is this beautiful amethyst, oh, amethyst point. And then last but not least, this beautiful selenite little cube. It's interesting because when I connected with this, I connected with mind, body, and soul. And that's like one, two, and three. So again, there's no right or wrong way of choosing. I always allow myself to receive the messages that are for you. I... Um, receive messages many different ways. I can hear things, feel things, see things. Uh, I can also see things in the future, in the past. So I always trust that the messages that are meant to come through will come through. I'll have the timestamps down below if you are interested in receiving a private reading. I will leave also the link to my website. I opened up my schedule um, for live readings via Zoom. If not, I also offer recorded readings. I'm also a healer, so I offer Reiki sessions. I also offer in-person healing sessions. I am in Highland Park, California. So if you're interested in that, you can always email me, which I'll leave my email down below. It's earthcrystalsconamor at gmail.com. I hope that this message assists you in whichever journey you are right now. And I also want to remind you that this reading is with the intention to support you, to empower you, to help you. Uh, my goal is for you to leave here with some type of message that can support you in your journey. I trust that each one of us is going to be in our own journey, but whichever journey you're in, like this is your time. Um, I keep looking like back and forth on the camera, but I think I'm like looking over here. Um, so we should be safe. All right. Well, I just invite you to connect with either option one, two, or three. I'm going to be shuffling in camera so you'll see the messages as they come, but let's get started. Option number one for the Malachite. To start off with Malachite, this is, um, I believe they call them like Fibrius, Fibrius. It's like a raw piece, but this is so pretty. It's like, I feel like when I, this is for my personal collection, but I feel like when I purchased this um, Malachite, I was in a place in my life where like, I wanted to go deeper, connect more with my heart. And that's what Malachite's all about. A beautiful heart chakra stone. It's a stone that helps us with change, with accepting like growth and change. So no such thing as coincidences, right? What are you needing to surrender? What are you needing to let go of? 
um i feel like already as i'm picking up on energy there is some type of relationship and you're like oh my god i don't i believe it stopped recording so you might see it like in two pieces but we were going with malachite a stone of change of expansion of growth and maybe you're just at a place in your life right now where you're trying to find with a relationship with someone in specific trying to find that balance trying to find the answers on why something just didn't work out how we planned on it working out i feel like for many of you there's a lot of confusion right now in your life because things are just not making sense i feel like a big i'm releasing um i feel like a big message i'm already picking up on with this option it's like your guides are saying follow your heart and know that you're not lost like you're it's like I keep seeing different versions of you in front of me and I feel like all these different versions of you in front of me, she's he, she, however you identify, is just trying to make the right decision. And maybe there's other people involved. Maybe you have children, you have a family, or you have a um, mix. No, it's not called a mix. A diverse, like a, a blended family. There we go. That's the, the name. A blended family. And it's worked out for so many years, but I feel like for both of you, maybe you're just in a place where you're wanting different things. You didn't know back then. And I feel like your guides are saying like, you didn't know back then what you know now. You didn't know back then that it was safe for you to follow your heart. It was, that's what you needed to be doing. For many of you, I feel like your guides are also saying like, trust yourself. You, you look back a lot in the past and you blame yourself a lot for the past. But you also have to remember, especially if we're speaking about a relationship, it takes two to tangle, right? It's a two-way street. I give, I receive, I give, I receive. So you can't only blame yourself or be so hard on yourself. Um, the cards that came out, the first one is have faith. <laughs> I feel like this just brings me back to like your guide saying, you're not lost. You're very hard on yourself because you want things to make sense. And not always can things make sense. You got face your shadow. You can't run anymore from this reality. It's time to close a cycle that we've we've needed to accept. And then ask with sincerity. I feel like for many of you, there's like um, like more of an honest conversation that you're needing to have with someone. Um, and maybe if this doesn't apply in your love life, this could be with your career, with a business partner. But I definitely feel the energy of two people, like two people involved. And there's something like you're needing to um, honor that face your shadow card for me. It's like I'm getting a lot of like anxiousness and maybe that's what I'm, you know, I know I'm sure I'm picking up on that. And maybe that's what you're feeling at the moment because you're just wanting to make sure you don't mess up. And your guides are saying you're not going to mess up. You're doing the right thing by being honest that you've outgrown a face in your life. I feel like something you're needing to let go of is the belief that, you know, you'll never make mistakes, that you need to get better at making mistakes because we all make mistakes. It's just so easy for people not to talk about them. And maybe that's why at times we think or we believe, oh, it's only us, but it's not only us. The card that jumped out, look forward. I think I just said something like that, like move forward, believe in the future. Many of you, you're in this place in your life right now where I feel like your guides are saying you're you're so focused in the past that you forget to live in the moment. You're so focused on what didn't work out that you forget to also celebrate yourself when you have a win. And a win doesn't have to be a big accomplishment, a race or something crazy. It can, but it doesn't always have to be like that. I feel like for many of you, you're very hard on yourself and it might stem a lot from childhood. Like I keep connecting with like a 14, 15 year old version of you or maybe something that happened 14, 15 years ago. Maybe this is your sign of like what happened, you know, around that age that a lot of your insecurities, insecurities started and you had a hard time with just believing and trusting in this chapter. But let's see. What do your guides, angels, ancestors have for you? You're definitely in a place, I feel like, right now where you are in life, whenever you see this video, like, you're definitely in a place where you're more mature, where you're more honest. 
and that's a big a big step many times many people can't even be honest about how they truly feel so for you to be honest just with yourself that's important be of service let go and enjoy oh i love that i feel like this message is definitely like a message from your guides i'm gonna put them a little bit closer um I feel like this is a message also from like your guide saying, don't think that everything has to fit in a box. Don't think that everything has to be black and white. It doesn't have to be black and white. Um, like I'm seeing some type of pattern here. So let me elaborate a little bit more on that. I feel like for many of you, what are you needing to surrender, let go of at the moment? It's like those patterns that you tend to repeat when you get very fearful. What is that fear that you're holding on to? Is it fear of failure? Is it fear of how others are going to perceive you? Is it fear? I feel like it's not more with you, to be honest. It's more with others. And to bring you back with this beautiful Malachite, it's a very heart chakra stone. So maybe you have a hard time trusting yourself, believing in yourself, because nobody ever did. But I want to remind you, wherever you are in your journey right now, you are worthy. You are worthy of starting over. You're capable of starting over. It's your birthright to live. And I feel like for many of you in the last couple of months, last couple of years even maybe, you haven't been feeling like you're living, like you're enjoying, like you're doing things purposefully for you. Purposefully? I think that's how you say it. Purposefully for you. So it's time like I keep seeing like your guides coming and saying like take off that mask take off that mask and stop wanting to be seen a certain way by certain people they're not ready to see you and that's okay and maybe that certain person is that partner your 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 boss your mother it could even be a parent your sibling and you try so hard in that relationship but you're at that ending point Maybe you're in that marriage that you keep trying and trying, but that person just doesn't seem to see this new version of you. And that's okay. It's time for you to be happy, to enjoy your journey. Wake up call and live life to the fullest. Oh, I love this. Live life to your fullest. It's like your guide saying, why have you been limiting yourself? Why have you been telling yourself that you can't start over? Someone here, I feel like I'm picking up on the energy, like someone here, or maybe all of us, right? We have this fear of timing. We have this fear of just thinking we're capable of achieving goals. We're capable of moving forward. You're not lost. You're not lost. Stop telling yourself. Stop telling. I feel like you're also saying like, I'm behind. And your guides are like, behind? Behind on what? At the bottom of the deck, engage in higher reason. Like be more present in what you want. Not on what you don't want. On what you do want. Hmm. And I feel like I also keep seeing like a future version of you. And I feel like this future version of you, uh, maybe five years, ten years from now. And that future version of you just keeps saying, look how it paid off. Look how you don't have to hold back of being yourself look at how it paid off to be honest mm, i love that let's see option number one my malachite option what are you needing to hear what are we surrendering to what is the time for us to let go of i feel a lot of like i know it is a heart chakra stone so i feel a lot of energy in my heart chakra but i feel like very loving energy i feel like your guides are also saying it's time to start showing up for yourself like you want others to show up for you stop waiting for others to see you to feel you to validate you pay attention to your intuition you're very intuitive but you doubt yourself a lot a leadership teaching and learning for many of you it's like i feel like you're ending a chapter so you can step into something different where you could take up more space but you need to make space for it. You need to believe that you're worthy of it. There's a lot of energy here also of like your guide saying you're capable of more. Now, do you believe it? Do you trust it? Is that something that you want to elaborate in? Absolutely. Like we were just talking about intuition. Some of you might be seeing angel number 222 um, or you might start to see it. I feel like that's always the number of your guide saying it's time to refocus on yourself. It's time to believe in this new path, not with others, but with you. Um, 
it's like I keep hearing an ancestor also come in and just saying like, and I feel like it's a woman's energy. Um, she's very connected outside. She loves Mother Earth. Maybe when you're outside, you receive more messages of her. Maybe it's time to go outside more, to detach, to de um De, de stress yourself because there's a lot you're carrying. Maybe you have a lot of back pain, and you know, spiritually, the whole message behind like us having a lot of back pain it's also because we've been carrying on so much weight, it doesn't serve you anymore, and it's okay to let go. It's okay to let go. This card jumped out, parenting. It's time to reparent yourself. Maybe you're just in a phase in your life where that 14, that 15-year-old version of you just didn't know how to show up, didn't know how to take up space, didn't know how to use their voice. There's a lot of energy I keep getting with my throat chakra. So maybe at this place in your life, you know it, that you're ready to let go of something that doesn't identify you, a relationship, a chapter in your life where you're like, I invested so much, but I'm ready to evolve. You're having a hard time vocalizing it to others. And I feel like for many of you, you're having a hard time like vocalizing it to others because you're really fearful of how they're going to take it. And I feel like that whole reparenting yourself, it's like nurturing yourself, right? How did your parents show up if they showed up when you asked for help, when you used your voice? Did they show up? If not, it's okay for you to show up for yourself. Oh, I love this. You got the abundance card. Abundance doesn't always have to be financially, but I feel like for many of you, this card is saying as soon as you surrender, as soon as you let go of this belief that you have to hold on to something, to someone, to a chapter that no longer defines you, maybe it's 11 years ago. I keep seeing the number 11 as a master number. That is a number of like initiation, starting something new, a door opening, a new chapter so you can walk through it. Um, yeah, because I, I like I, I see you guys also in a place like I keep stuttering. So I know it's like your energy, but like I see you in a place where you're like, I think I know where I'm going, but you're just nervous. I think I know what I want. But I don't know how they're going to take it. Them, 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 them. But what about you? What about you? All right, option number one, Malachite. What are we needing to surrender to? What are we needing to let go of? Mm, look at that shadow work. I think, and you got the face, your shadow card. And to me, this identifies some energy with like shadow work because it has that mirror, right? But this is like surrender to your creativity. Let your imagination soar. Stay open to all creative ideas about how to pursue a dream or to solve a problem, right? When you look into the mirror initially, there's only one butterfly you could see outside. But if you look in the actual mirror, I don't know if this will be focused on the camera, but when you look at the actual mirror, I feel like there's a different vision, right? There's hundreds of butterflies. Meaning like don't just see things from one perspective. Get out of your comfort zone and know that you're capable of doing more. Face your shadow. It's like face those fears. What have you been holding back on? What have you been telling yourself you can't do? Because in the past you were told that. Some of you, I feel like you're also in this space in your life right now where your guides are saying you're needing to trust this new chapter. You're needing to evolve in this new chapter. Um, I also keep seeing like, sorry, my cards fell this way. I also keep seeing like your guides are saying, you know, you, you've come a very long way and you forget to give yourself credit that a lot of it, if not all of this journey, you've done it on your own. But it's so easy for you to get caught up in the unknown. And I know we're humans. We can be so we can get so comfortable in places. We could tell ourselves we're safe, but are you really safe? Are you really happy? There's like this energy also where I feel like in the next six months, because I feel like before the year ends, or regardless when you see this, like within the next six months, I feel like you are receiving some type of offer, some type of um, like new beginning offer it's going to push you um to get like more creative also like 
I feel like you've been investing your energy into someone so much that you forgot like, wait, what do I want to do? How do I want to evolve? Like now it's time to bring that energy back to yourself. What's coming next for you? What is coming next for you as you're continuing to surrender, to let go? Oh, the ideas you are receiving are heaven sent answers to your prayers. Let go. Okay. Well, many of your cards are repeating themselves. You got to face your shadow and then let go and enjoy here and then let go here. So you can't hold on. I feel like if you're also questioning, um, because if you notice and it says release a desire to control the situation and leave it up to God's infinite wisdom to resolve everything beautifully. If you notice, there's two people in this card, right? One person is like telling, telling someone like, hey, this is what I want to do. And the other person might be a little unsure or might, might not want this change. But it's not on you to convince them. It's not on you to wait for them either. Trust yourself that even though someone might not see this new chapter that you're about to evolve into, you see it. I feel like your guides are also, my guides keep um, like telling me, tell them to trust themselves. Like sometimes you might think like I'm very sensitive, like trust yourself, also be okay with honoring your emotions. Maybe sometimes you're like, I'm so sensitive, I can't speak. Like if I start to speak, I start to cry. That's okay. Crying is not a bad thing. Crying doesn't make you weak. Just choose who you can be vulnerable with. Because I feel like that's important. Um, I feel like, okay, let's see. Some cards already jumped out. I was getting ready to say like, I feel that you're getting ready to have that courage to speak up. You're getting ready to say something. The yes card jumped out. So I feel like for many of you, if you're questioning, hey, Am I on the right track? Is it okay for me to say no? Is it okay for... Like, yes. Keep following your intuition. You're very intuitive. I don't know if I said it in this option a little bit ago, but like there's something about your intuition you doubt a lot. And your guides are saying like, you're very intuitive. Within the next few weeks, and it's up to you, came up. There's like something you're honoring within the next few weeks. There's something that I feel that you're like allowing yourself to face. Someone here, I feel like, like I feel like as a as a collective, I also feel like this energy of community. Maybe you're wanting to let go. If this applies in your career, maybe you're wanting to let go of a job where they're so controlling that now you're like, I want more freedom. I want to be in a place where I could just be myself, where things can flow more easily. Maybe you've been investing so much in a specific relationship that you also forgot yourself, your goals, your vision. Let go of that belief that you can't be yourself. That creative card with the mirror, to me, it also gives me the energy of like, what have you, you've been seeing all along that you can do, but you haven't acted upon it. That abundance card you got earlier too, I feel like it's like your guide saying, you're capable of more. You're a powerful manifester. And remember, with our words, what we believe, we become. What have you been, I feel like your guys are saying that because they're like, what have you been telling yourself recently, lately that you think you can't do, but yet you know you're capable of it. There's just, it's like also, I feel like there's just this energy also of like, you're almost there. That yes card you got a bit ago, it's like, yes, you're on the right path. You're acknowledging, you're about to acknowledge this has ended. This course, this has served its course. That's it. I, I can't, I can't keep going. Ooh, I feel like that's heavy. Mm -hmm. All right, let's see. I'm going to pick one more card. Option number one, my Malachite. What messages are we needing to hear? It? What we are surrendering to, what we are letting go of, what no longer serves you. Ooh, I love these. These are like an abundance deck. It talks about like our money. How are we handling it different? And it says, focus on your priorities. Pay yourself first. All right, my guides are saying to read, pay yourself first. Make yourself your most important financial obligation by setting aside a portion of your income every time you are paid. This loving form of self-care ensures that you'll have the savings to invest 
in your present and your future. Mm. Focus on yourself more. It's okay to invest in others, to help others, to support others. But what about you? Pay yourself first is something that nobody teaches us, right? Especially if you grew up in, in a culture, in a community, in a household where it's always give, give, give to others. We forget we need to receive. We forget that we matter. What are you hold? To me, this is also saying like, what are you? What guilt are you holding on to? That's telling you you can't make a shift because other people are going to be intimidated. That is not your problem. You can't control that. It's time for you to believe in what you're capable of doing because you're very creative. Some of you, I feel like you're also like, what are you needing to surrender, like let go of? Like, I feel like whatever it is that's been holding you back to, it's like this big weight that just doesn't identify you anymore. Maybe in the last couple of months, you've been investing so much in others that you also forgot, wait a minute, I'm nurturing. I'm worthy of more. Um, for some of you that I'm picking up on this, if it resonates, please take it. If not, let it go. Um, I feel like if this is a message in your love life, for some of you, I'm picking up the energy of like, that person is totally different than when you met. And that's okay. They've changed, they've seen things different, and that's okay. Don't be scared to let go of someone just because you you keep thinking like they might change. They could, they could change if they want to, but that doesn't mean you have to stay there. Somebody that you've outgrown also, you're just in a chapter in your life now where you're like, I see things different. Like I keep seeing some glasses that you were wearing for so long and now you took them off and you're like, oh my God, I see life different. Like that, yeah, that's not what I wanted. That's not who I am. And that's okay. You're allowed to start over. Um, lastly, like another thing that I'm picking up, I feel a lot of energy on my feminine side that feels a little rough, a little um, hard. So I feel like work more on your feminine side. Maybe you've been so much on your masculine side, which keeps us alive, that ego surviving. But it's okay to be gentle, more gentle with yourself, kind, nurturing. And we, whether you're female or male, we all have female and masculine energy, that yin and yang. It's time to balance more of that feminine side. I feel like that's important um, for it to come up. I want to see if any other message comes up out of this daily guidance for option number one. But let's see. What are we needing to hear lastly as we're continuing our chapter? I want to ask your future self, higher self, future version of you, five years, 10 years, 10 years, 10 years keeps coming up regardless. Like what message does that future version of you have as you're continuing to evolve in this journey? Mm, fresh air. Your body needs refreshment from oxygen, oxygen, oxygenated air, um, plants, flowers, spend time outside. Open your curtains and windows to refresh your home as well. Like get out of that clutter. Maybe if you've been wanting to expand more like on your spiritual side and get it, get to know a new version of you, like get out of your comfort zone. That's what your future version is saying. Get out of your comfort zone. Change the scenery. Maybe you're still wearing those glasses that you've been wearing for a long time, but you know damn well you've outgrown that prescription. It's time for a new one. It's time to see things different. Don't be so hard on yourself also as... You're speaking your truth. It's time to speak your truth. It's time to fly free. It's time to find the freedom to serve your soul, to allow you to nurture that new version of you that's evolving. And lastly, I feel like with um, this beautiful Malachi piece, like many of you, I feel like also that future version of you is saying like, invest more in yourself, physically, mentally, financially. You've been doing so much for others and now it's time to give back to yourself. You've been investing so much in others and now it's time to take it back a notch so you can evolve in your own timing. I thank you for trusting in my magic, for allowing me to connect with you on a deeper level. If you're interested in a private reading, I'll leave my website down below where you can book either recorded or I opened up my live um, reading schedule. We can connect via Zoom or if you are in California near Highland Park, I also do healing sessions. Don't forget to like my video if you know somebody also that might um, resonate with this message. I would um, really appreciate it if you 
share my messages. Thank you. Blessing. Option number two, our amethyst. Hola, hola. If you picked option number two, welcome to your reading. Um, this is me freely channeling messages. I'll be doing cards live also. Like, what are we needing to surrender, let go of? What do you need to honor right now that you've outgrown? What chapter are you ready to close? What are your guides saying like, hey, it's time. It's time to let go. Because <laughs> I feel like for many of you, you're also like in a chapter in your life where you've for this option, like I feel like you're in a chapter in your life where you, you just, you want more. You want more for yourself. There's a lot of like, you've outgrown a version of you that you've mastered. You've outgrown a version of you that it's like, that doesn't define you anymore. Many of you, I feel like you've been going through like some type of awakening and we go through many spiritual awakenings. But I feel like for many of you, it's like you've been going through some type of awakening to like redirect yourself. If you notice this amethyst has a beautiful point. It's rough from the bottom, just like it comes from mother earth. And then it's polished at the tip. All of these are from my personal collection, but I started to connect with this amethyst when I was learning more about crystal healing. Yes, I'm trying to remember, but yes, I was um, taking a course and I was given a set of crystals and this was one of them but to do more crystal healing, connecting more with crystals, channeling with crystals. So I received it when it was like a new chapter for me. Amethyst is a very calming stone. It's also very protective. It's very soothing. It's a de-stressor. It helps us with our third eye, our intuition, with receiving messages. So I know I'm sharing that for a reason. Let me turn on an incense. So I feel like I wanna um, honor that energy to honor the air element for our thoughts, to honor our ancestors with a little incense. Rose is one of my favorite um, incense that I love to burn, but let's see. For option number two, what's coming in for you? What are we needing to surrender, to let go of? What have we outgrown that no longer serves us? I feel like for many of you also that picked this option, you're like in a place in your life where you're having some type of breakthrough of like, man, um, I want to show up different. I want to take up space. Like you're getting to a place also where you're just feeling more yourself. Your, your guides are saying like, let go of that old version of you that was so restricted, that was so fearful, that was so limited. Like you're not that version anymore. Many of you, it's like you're needing to surrender to also the fear of the unknown. You're needing to surrender to that fear of am i on the right path you'll always be on the right path if you follow your heart if you believe in yourself that might sound cliche but only you know your own thoughts only know, you know the visions you see you could tell them to people but only you know your thoughts they're in your mind in your head and i feel like for many of you it's like this awakening that you've been going through it's been giving you the signs the messages of like you are where you need to be Pay attention to your dreams, um, set more an intention to be open, like go out, set the intention to receive messages from your guides, from your angels, from your ancestors, and you'll see how the right messages will always find you. It's like, I also feel like for this option, I keep hearing a lot of different music in the background. So to me, that's like a sign of your guides, angels, ancestors saying like, listen to music. We're always giving you messages through music. Yeah, like guidance. What are you needing to surrender to? What is uh, that chapter in your life that you've just outgrown that doesn't serve you anymore? These two jump to the side. So let's see. All right. Following your dreams and parenting. I feel like for many of you, as soon as I felt the energy of this parenting, like, are you fearful of like, being able to have your own and then as well your career like your family your own tribe but then also like being able to juggle maybe you're having a hard time right now with stepping more into your light stepping more into your purpose because you're wanting to juggle a couple of things and parenting 
um, it doesn't have to happen now. Maybe it's something that you're like, but in the future, I want to do that. But something ha something has been taking a lot of your time. And it's like, I feel like maybe you're not sure, like, can I continue to do this? And your guides are like, absolutely. You're, you're not lost. Following your dreams, it's like for a very long time, you've You've been waiting for the right time. I feel like many of you have been questioning, like, when will the right time come? And it's like your guide saying, like, right now is the right time. Mm. Bottom of the deck, self-discipline. And then right under, it's a number five. Four plus one is five. Five, change. Don't be scared. The number five, also in numerology, like, if we're, if we're being called out by our guides, like, um, like the negative side of number five is when we were so caught up on structure. We're so caught up on having control of everything. And I feel like I'm, I know I'm saying this for a reason. It's time to let go a little bit of control. It's time to like, I feel like maybe you tend to plan everything and you want to know everything. But right now in this chapter, as you're surrendering and as you're trusting and as you're moving forward in your path and learning new things and expanding in new things, like you just need to trust. You just need to trust that also you're not that person you were in the past that would settle for just what you were offered. Now you're going for what you want. Thank you. Like maybe for many of you, you have an offer that has been amazing and it served you and you're comfortable, but it's like, thank you, but no thank you. I'm ready to evolve. I'm ready to expand in a place where I could be myself. Um, this is my surrender deck. So let's see. Option number two, my amethyst. What are we needing to surrender, to let go of, to trust that we've outgrown? Option number two, what are we needing to surrender to? For many of you, I feel like also like this awakening you've been going through or you're about to go through, it's been like very hard emotionally, like You've been feeling like you've been grieving a past version of you. And it's like, grieve it. Don't hold it in. Grieve it. Let it go. Cry it out. Oh, we got a couple. So let me ask your guides to give you um, give you one or two. <laughs> Option number two, please give me one or two cards. What are we surrendering to? It's like, I, I, I feel like your guides are also saying, like, you tend to be so hard on yourself. Like, be kind. You got surrendered to stubbornness. <laughs> and it says, if you're tensing up or taking a rigid stance about something, gently observe yourself and become more yielding. This will help you communicate more lovingly with others and yourself. Mm. Stubbornness doesn't have to be, you know, a negative thing. It's more than anything. Like, stop being so hard on yourself on thinking that things need to happen a certain way. If you notice this woman is, like, looking away, a little bit of shamed. Maybe you've been dealing, honoring shame. Shame and guilt and anger from the past. But it doesn't serve you anymore. It can't hold you back anymore. Many of you, you've been, like, in a, in, you've been... You've, you have been in a place of comfortableness. And I, and I feel like I said this a little bit ago, but it's time to get uncomfortable. It's time to take that leap to the next chapter. You're almost there. You're almost there where you're going to be sitting where you need to be in that table where the right people are going to align with you. Stop nurturing that old version of you that others wanted you to be. You're letting go of a belief. For many of you, I feel like you're letting go of a belief that you need to be a certain way. Maybe you 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 stop identifying with a religion, with a culture, with something. Because I, I, I just feel like your guides are saying, like, that's not you anymore. Now it's you that you're investing more into. Maybe in the past it wasn't like, trust your intuition. And now you're like, trust my intuition? What does that mean? Trust your intuition, that little voice within you, those thoughts that come in that keep reminding you like, hey, this is where you need to be. Don't be so hard on yourself and also creating new memories, new stories where you can evolve in. All right, option number two, what are we needing to surrender? What have we outgrown financially? What messages are coming up? It says exercise 
to increase your energy and manifestation abilities. The key to manifesting quickly is to have very high energy levels. And the easiest way to increase them is through physical exercise. Choose a fun and meaningful activity so that you'll look fo forward to exercising and it, become, it becomes its own reward. Like move your body more, get out of your comfort zone. Nurture also like that new version of you that wants to try different things. Maybe for many of you, I also feel like you're wanting to start like a new adventure. And I feel like this new adventure you're wanting to start, you're like not sure how it's going to happen. But it's like your guides are saying, okay, we got to take the first step. We got to trust ourselves that we're worthy of more. We got to trust ourselves that also our intuition is not crazy. And there's something that your guides keep saying, that I keep hearing like, shh, stop telling everybody your story, your journey, your thoughts. Keep them to yourself a little bit. And when it's the right time, you'll tell it to others. It's not the right time yet. And that's okay. And that's okay. Move your body. Get out of your comfort zone. Maybe you've been so energy is stuck. Get stuck in our body. Let's move it. Let's get out of our comfort zone. Let's nurture this new chapter. I'm going to ask your higher self, what message does he or she have for you? That future version of you. Of what are we surrendering as we continue to show up? There's a... Definitely for this option, there's a lot of energy of you, you expanding. You're needing to surrender to the belief of, I need to look a certain way. I need to be who I was in the past. That's not you anymore. I keep seeing the angel number 999, and I've been working personally with that number. That's all about letting go, accepting this new version of you. So you're needing to hear that. Ooh, your future self, energy work, daydream. Allow yourself to just sit with your thoughts. Allow yourself to believe in the unknown and the impossible. Energy work. Many of you might want to step into a field so that a lot of people won't understand. Into a hobby, it doesn't have to be your full-time career. And maybe you're wanting to start a new project that you've just been thinking it might be beautiful and, and, and it might just bring you a lot of joy. It will. But get out of your comfort zone. I feel like for many of you, it's like, when was the last time you allowed yourself to trust? I keep seeing feathers being dropped. And it's like your guide saying, you're being guided at the bottom of the deck is a family card. You're being guided by your guides, your angels, your ancestors. Many of you, you might also be questioning a lot. What if it doesn't work out? And your guides are like, wait, how can you even think of that? If you haven't even tried, I keep seeing somebody give like a notice. Maybe you're wanting to give that two week notice because you're like something else is calling me and I'm going to try it. I'm going to trust it and I'm going to allow myself to nurture this new vision. Stop being so hard on yourself. Stop thinking that you can only do things a certain way. Stop thinking that this version of you that has awakened now that has this fire igniting he or she is not valid maybe other people don't see that fire because they don't even see it in themselves and that's okay it's not your job to convince people of who they who they could be you got to convince yourself so you can take that leap of faith so you can invest in yourself amethyst is a beautiful song that also reminds us on a spiritual level like what are your gifts that you've been ignoring? What are your gifts? All right. Last messages that we're needing to hear for option number two that we're needing to surrender, to let go of. In the description box down below, I'll leave my website. Also, if you want, if you're needing some support, um, I do do readings privately recorded and I send you a link via YouTube or I also do them live via Zoom. I opened up my calendar for June and July where you can book those live readings. And if you are in California near Highland Park, I also do in-person healing sessions. So I hope to connect with you if you're wanting something a little bit deeper. If not, just thank you um, for trusting in my magic, for allowing me to be this vessel to connect I don't do a lot of my readings often because I always trust in timing and I always like to be very intentional about the messages that I give out. So, thank you.
Oh, I love this. Live your soul, not a role. Mm. You also got strengthen your gifts and do what you love. Do what you love. Strengthen those gifts. That true passion that is calling you to evolve. This is the most important one. I feel like live your soul, not a role. Your soul, that passion within you. I feel like I said this a little bit ago, but like there's something that you've been awakening to. What is it? Spend more time with it. Invest more time in yourself. Nurture that version of you. Refine your attention. What, whatever you, whatever attention you bring into something, it will grow. So be very mindful of how you spend time with yourself, with others. Be very mindful also of the power of words. Because what you believe, you become. I know we hear it all the time, but it's very true. What we believe, we become. Thank you for the energy exchange. Blessings. Number three. Last but not least. My beautiful excuse me, my beautiful selenite piece, mind, body, and soul energy. Ooh, this option, it's like, I keep seeing like your guides show up here and they're like, all right. It's kind of like they're calling you in for a meeting and they're like, all right, what, what, what's the next excuse? Why do you keep saying you can't do this? It's like, I feel like you're needing to surrender to giving up. I'm going to get emotional and that's okay. And I feel like that might be you. You might be feeling like many doors have been closing lately. You might be feeling like things are not happening fast enough. You might be thinking you need to do a hundred things. Like I'm seeing that meme of SpongeBob where he has like a hundred hands and he's doing this and that and that. But take it easy. You're, you're, a, you're like a very powerful leader. You help people with, maybe you're a healer. Maybe you're a teacher. Maybe you want to be a teacher. Maybe you just want to expand. And that's okay. This is the time to expand. Maybe you've been thinking that if you take a leap right now, it's too late. I feel like something you're needing to surrender to like right now, it's this belief that if it's not now, it's never. Like, I need to run. No, no, it's okay to walk. You don't need to run. Nobody's going to get to the finish, your finish line. It's your finish line. What's the competition? I keep seeing your guides writing. Maybe you're a writer. Maybe you want to start writing more. Maybe you want to start a blog. Maybe you just want to start connecting with people differently. Do it. Do it and see where that takes you. Do it without the expectation of it needs to take off right now. Do it with the intention of, I want to continue to evolve. Trust yourself. Option number three, what are we needing to surrender to? Financially, physically, mentally, emotionally. Like you've seen a lot of like your heart and throat chakra come up for this option. Maybe you've been working on those chakras. Maybe we're needing to work on them. It says positivity, faith, and optimism. You open the doorway to positive experiences and opportunities with your positive expectations and energy. Do not allow negative energy or temporary setbacks to interfere with the path you are on. Keep the faith and keep going. You're being guided. That lion energy. Your fears, your determined, your beautiful soul. Surround yourself more with people that want to see you grow, that want to see you evolve. At the bottom of the deck, face your financial fears. Face those beliefs that you're behind, that you're lost. I'm gonna read the card. It says, when you're honest with yourself about fears of success or failure, they can no longer control you. I'm gonna read that again. When you are honest with yourself, about fears of success or failure, they can no longer control you. 
Be free of hidden fears by exposing them to the light of awareness. And you'll realize that you, in fact, have nothing to fear. And that every successful person has struggled with and released the self-doubt. This self-doubt. That you can't be yourself. That you can't take up space. Maybe you're wanting to take it to the next level. Your career. The next chapter you're going to invest into. Like, It's like, I don't know if there's like two projects you're wanting to invest into. Three projects. But you're definitely wanting to do a little bit more than one thing. That's okay. But also remember that you can't juggle all these things at once at times. And that's not going to be something you might want to hear. But you have to hear it. Surrender to the belief that everything has to happen overnight. Surrender to the belief that you, you, you have to be working harder. No. We have to work smarter, not harder. Many of you, you've been healing a lot of generational trauma, a lot of fears from your ancestors. Because I feel like that's why they're here, like gathering you like it's meeting time. You've come a very long way. And they're like here to applaud you, here to celebrate you. So let me ask you for option number three. When was the last time you celebrated yourself? You're very hard on yourself. You're very hard on yourself. Selenite as a crystal is a protection, a great one for meditation because it's very gentle. It's a stone that also reminds us of Focusing more on ourselves and not on others. It's a stone that does not absorb energy. It's self-cleansing. So I feel like I'm reading this energy of selenite to say like, you, you don't have to worry about what other people are doing. Because that's their journey. It's not your journey. It's their journey. You don't have to want other people to see this new version of you that's evolving. Maybe you are at a standstill right now. Maybe things are just going a little bit slower so you can really focus on goals for the long term. You're needing to surrender of the belief that, man, the train has passed. In Spanish, we say something, el tren ya se le pasó, like when somebody should have done something because of their age. Maybe that's something you've been telling yourself, but the train hasn't passed. They'll come again. There's not only one train to get to the finish line, to get to the next chapter, to start that new project. Get out of your comfort zone. Work with others. Collaborate. Get out of your comfort zone. Read different books. Watch different videos. You got joy and you got cleanse and detoxify. There's a lot of releasing also physically in your body that you're needing to do. Joy. Live more in the moment. Dolphins, as a spirit animal, they're all about joy, happiness, self-care. I feel like this summer, these next three months for you, it's more about you. And you'll see how things easily will flow. You're needing to allow things to flow more. Surrender to the belief that you need to control everything. Surrender to the belief that if you're needing to let go right now of the belief that everything needs to happen perfectly. There is no perfect. There is no perfect creative project at the bottom of the deck. Your soul longs to express itself in creative ways. We're guiding you to infuse artistry, artistry and creativity into your life. Creative expression makes you feel alive and excited and reignites passion towards life. Oh, I love that. Right? Earlier I was saying you were writing. You don't have to be a writer. You could also be a speaker. For many of you, it's like, I feel like you work with your hands. You can heal people in many different ways. I, I feel like I'm saying like you can heal people. You can do things. You can connect with people in many different ways. You're very community-based. You're driven. So whatever you're questioning in your career, like, can I expand? Yes, if it involves others. Because you love, like it, it just fires you up. You're needing to surrender to the belief that right now things don't things don't align how you thought they would. Let go of that belief that all. All right, option number three. It stopped recording, so I'm continuing your reading. This is for option number three, my selenite.
option. What are we surrendering, let go of? And I feel like as I'm connecting again with your energy and this reminder of like something happened unexpectedly, right? And like, I figured it out. I know that that's a message for you. Like whatever's happening right now and it's like taking you on detours, it's okay. These detours needed to happen. So you can continue in this chapter of evolving, of manifesting, of growing into this new version of you that just you thought it would have happened already. Maybe, I feel like for many of you, it's like you've been focusing on your, like I feel like your healing journey for a very long time. And that's okay. He, I know people like, it's like a thing that people always say, like healing never stops. Healing never stops. And I don't truly believe in that. Like we heal and then different things happen in our life. But it's not like we're continuing to heal. We process things different. We show up different. And if maybe you've been feeling a little bit overwhelmed of your healing journey, this is like your friendly reminder. Like be kind with yourself. The sun is coming out again so you can find yourself. The sun is reminding you like you've nurtured yourself. You know better. You can start this chapter to show other people, to guide other people, to lead other people. Like you're capable of it. And maybe you've had a very hard journey in the last two to three years. And maybe it's been very, like, I feel like for many of you, you're being, like, sit, like, they're sitting you down. Like, they're, like, slowing you down, slowing you down. Your guides, your angels, your ancestors, like, take some time also to spend with yourself to reflect. I keep seeing you, like, walking in the woods. And I feel like that's your guide saying, like, recharge. Things are aligning how they need to. You keep wanting to do things now. Not yesterday, not tomorrow, now. And that's not how things always work. Maybe many of you connect also with the element a lot of Mother Earth. Mother Earth always reminding us to be like present, to be grounded. You're not lost. Option number three, what are you needing to surrender to? What are you needing to let go of? Ooh, surrender to miracles. <laughs> You're like, what well, miracles? Um, be open to miraculous occurring miracles occurring in your life. Feel and know that these events are real. Let go of any resistance and banish any doubt that miracles can happen. And it's the little dolphins. Some of you, this might also be in your love life. I don't know why I'm picking this up, but if it resonates, take it. Like, I feel like also for some of you, it's like love can happen. Love doesn't have to be toxic. Surrender to spirit. Once you've done everything you can to achieve a goal... Turn the situation over to the divine. Let spirit work its magic. I feel like with this, the, this one, it's like I was. We were just talking about like you walking in the in the in the forest in the woods, right? Let spirit work its magic. Let spirit continue to guide you. Spirit could be your ancestors, your guide, um, Mother Mary, whoever you believe in. I said Mother Mary because I keep connecting with the energy of Mother Mary in this reading. Regardless of your religion, believes she is an ascended master. So she is someone that comes into our life to support us, to nurture us. And for many of you, I feel like it's like a message for Mother Mary. Like, it's okay to also ask for help. It's okay to be kind with ourselves and remind ourselves. You know, nothing nothing has to be a certain way or perfect. And you, you I, I feel like for many of you, it's like you've had responsibilities from a very young age. You've had very high expectations put on yourself. That at times it's been hard to just go a different direction to find a detour maybe it is hard for you to slow down i want to see with this other deck maybe it is hard for you to slow down but it's not impossible all right this card that jumped out financial discipline effort and karmic completion something has run something has ran its course something has ended for us and that's okay a job, a career, relationship, or maybe all of those. Maybe there's many things right now in your life where you're like, uh, I'm just trying to figure it out. Financial discipline for many of you, it's like be more conscious of how you're spending. I feel like your guides are also saying like be more mindful where it, it's like being distributed. Yeah, because I also feel like with the energy of like financial discipline, it's like you're investing more into certain specific things and be okay with that. Mm -hmm. And there is no 
specific timing on how things need to happen because maybe that's something you're continuing to question and your guides are like there's no specific timing dive deep nurture your soul believe in this new chapter that you are evolving into option number three what are we needing to hear what we're surrendering letting go of be true to yourself jumped out and then you also got tune out distractions strengthen your gifts and go for your dreams. Very like Paris inspired. Like I feel like your guides are also saying like your dreams, your goals, your visions are something that you've never allowed yourself to really trust in, to really take that leap of faith. You've, I feel like for many of you, you grew up so fast that many things were taken from you. Like your childhood, many things. They were just like, go, go, go. You have no timing, your guide. You have no time anymore. Your guides are like, you have time. I keep hearing like a very tropical place in the background. So maybe you've been wanting to go on a retreat, on a um, weekend getaway, whatever it is. Like, you can do it. Let yourself get out of your comfort zone. Also, as you're continuing to evolve, because like I just keep seeing you wanting to give up in, in a way of like, I, yeah, no. I should have done this by now. Being so hard on yourself. Because you just thought, I feel like growing up for many of you, you also were like trained, molded. It was embedded in you like, hey, calladita te ves más bonita, quietly. Don't, 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 don't say what you're doing. Just do it. And it's like, well, I want to share with my friends. I want to tell people what I'm doing. And you can't. Pero todo su tiempo. Nurture, nurture that version of you right now that just wants to be seen by you, accepted by you. What a guidance is coming up of what we're needing right now. Because I feel like for many of you, it's like messages you're needing to hear right now. Not in the future, not from the past, but right now. So let's see. Todo a su tiempo. Everything in your time. Everything in timing. Steady progress. Yeah, you're not lost. This is my take your time card. You're being guided. You also got what you desire and change in direction. The changes you're experiencing are, divi are divinely directed by your newborn willingness to open your heart to love and our guidance. You are protected. You now have the opportunity to write the script according to your heart's true desires. Mm, your heart's true desires. Nurturing. Like I keep seeing the... The fall season. So I feel like for many of you, regardless of when you see this video, like I feel like for many of you from now until the fall or the next fall season that you're going to be um, embarking into, it's like you'll see something fall more into place. Right now, it's like there's a lot of behind the scenes things, a lot of things that your guides, many things that are happening that you don't see yet, but that doesn't mean they're not happening. You're very... It's like, I don't know if I'm, it's like a 5,000, 10,000. You're very focused on a specific goal right now. Focus on something specifically and surrender to that belief that it needs to happen overnight. My surrender card. I feel like this video um, stopped a couple of times, so I don't remember if I grabbed to this deck. But if I did, then you're getting two messages. What are we needing to surrender to let go of? What are we needing to surrender to for option number three? Mm, surrender to procrastination. Now is the time to jump on a go instead of putting it off. Taking action will attract success. One step at a time. Earlier, I, I believe I said for this option, the light is coming out. And this just reminded me of that. But you got to take that first step. You got to start somewhere. And you don't always run to do things. You take some steps. You take a break. You analyze. You change. I'm hearing that saying that, I read a phrase recently and it was about a plant. Like if a plant is not growing, you don't just throw it away. You change it from the scenery. You water it. You repot it. Like, And the whole message behind that is you try different things. And I feel like I'm hearing that for a reason for you. If something is not working, let's try it a different way. But let's forget of the belief that it needs to happen now and overnight. You're very smart. So many of my option number three, like you're meant to lead people. Like you're very inspiring. Don't stop doubting in yourself. 
And if lately it's just been feeling like things are not moving fast enough, that's okay. Things don't always need to happen fast. There's something just with like, things need to happen now that keeps coming up for this option. And I know I've said it a couple of times. So be gentle. Selenite is a beautiful stone that you can work with if you meditate. Meditation always helps us with getting in touch more with our thoughts, quieting our mind. And maybe if meditation is not for you, it's just, I feel like this message with the selenite is just being more in touch with you. Allowing yourself to be that new version that wants to evolve. Um, the energy spirit oracle keeps calling me. I didn't open the box for this reading yet, but for you it's calling me. So let's see. Option number three. What are we needing to hear of this chapter in our life right now, right now that we're surrendering to the, the messages? What do you need to hear right now that you've outgrown? You've outgrown that belief from the past. <laughs> Cards are just jumping out. So let's see. You've got past life guides, karmic lessons, present assistance, animal energy powers, animal totems. You're being guided. You're being guided by your spirit guides. You're being reminded of past life lessons. You're a big, big healer. Akashic records keep coming up. Akashic records are our past lives, many lifetimes. Look at it like your own encyclopedia of your history, your story. I also do Akashic record readings and you can always book one in my website if you wanna go a little bit deeper with that. I do them live uh, via Zoom, but if not, I'm sure, um, the right messages will find you. But there's something about a past life that you're also healing. And I feel like for many of you, it's like, for many of you, like this energy that I'm picking up on, oops, sorry. For many of you, I feel like this energy from a past life is like that fear of taking up space, that fear of being a leader, that fear of being your true self. You can be your true self. You can find that true version of you. You just gotta believe in it. And you have to allow yourself to be guided. That animal totems card, to me, it's like a spirit guide. We have many spirit guides, many spirit animals that guide us in our lifetime. Whichever spirit animal is guiding you right now or has been guiding you is here to remind you, like, spread your wings. Allow yourself to evolve into wherever you're going next. And if you fall, you can get back up. Stop thinking that everything has to be a certain way. Stop being so hard on yourself that you don't even allow yourself to trust. <sighs> Option number three, I feel like um, I feel like a big message for your reading is like, you're not lost. You're not needing to know everything right now. In this lifetime, you're meant to live more in the moment. And I feel like for many of you, to be honest, you haven't. You haven't been enjoying, you haven't been celebrating, and it's okay to take a step back. And remember that everything that ends always brings a new beginning. If somebody is coming up from your past, I don't know why this is coming up, but I want to honor it. Give yourself some time to process that relationship. Maybe that closure that you never received, you're going to connect with someone to get closure. Maybe you won't. Right? This message might be for you, might not be for you because it's general. But if you are in a place right now in your life where you're just needing some type of closure and you're not getting it, that's okay. We have to move forward. Just because things are not happening how you thought they would happen or how you think they need to happen doesn't mean that you're lost. Stop allowing the fear from the past to hold you back. Lastly, I feel like a message from Mother Mary it's like for many of you that picked this option, it's like you didn't come this far to give up. Again, you didn't come this far in your journey. The hardships, the no night sleeps, the, the journey to just say now, yeah, I don't think this is for me. This is for you. This is your calling to evolve, to nurture, tap more into your true self and allow yourself to fall and allow yourself to just be who you're meant to be in this lifetime. You're not perfect. And your guides don't want you to be perfect. And the people that keep putting all those expectations on you, let them. You're not here for them. You're here for yourself. <sighs> I feel like that was a deep message. Thank you for the energy exchange, for trusting in my magic, for allowing me to be this vessel. 
And until next time, blessings.